Rebellion brings judgment. Dear friends, in today's story, we will look at the reign of Jehu, who fulfilled God's wrath on Ahab's family, and of Joash, who became king at the age of seven, in the seventh year of Jehu's reign. Jehu, who killed Ahab and Jezebel, started out his reign well. He called all the worshippers of Baal from all Israel to the temple of Baal on the pretext of a solemn assembly for Baal. There was no one who did not come. Then, on Jehu's orders, his men killed them. Then they went into the inner room of the house of Baal and burnt it, and they demolished the pillar of Baal, and demolished the house of Baal and made it a latrine. Thus Jehu wiped out Baal from Israel. But Jehu was not careful to walk in the law of the Lord, the God of Israel, with all his heart. He did not remove the calves which Jeroboam had erected in Dan and Bethel. So the Lord began to cut off parts of Israel. Hazael king of Adam defeated them throughout the territory of Israel. He conquered all the land of Gilead on the east of the Jordan, which Moses gave the two and a half tribes of Israel, Reuben, Gad, and the half tribe of Manasseh. As Jehu had done to the house of Ahab, according to God's word, God said that his descendants will sit on the throne of Israel up until the fourth generation. Then Jehu, who reigned over Israel for twenty-eight years, died. He was buried in Samaria. In the seventh year of Jehu's reign, seven-year-old Joash became king of Judah. Jehu had killed Joash's father Ahaziah, right? Thus, young Joash began to reign. Jehoiada the priest was there to lead Joash in the ways of God. When Joash grew older, Jehoiada got for him two wives, and he had sons and daughters. Before Joash, during Athaliah's reign, Athaliah's men broke into the temple of God and used all the dedicated things of the house of the Lord for Baals. So when Joash grew up, he decided to restore the house of the Lord. He called the priests and the Levites and informed them of his decisions. For that, he told them to gather money from all Israel. However, the Levites did not act quickly. Following that, Joash spoke to Jehoiada. Thus they made a chest and set it outside the gate of the temple, in accordance with the king's command. And a proclamation was made throughout Judah and Jerusalem to bring in for the Lord the tax that Moses, the servant of God, laid on Israel in the wilderness. And all the princes and all the people rejoiced and brought their tax and dropped it into the chest. They gave that to those who had charge of the work of the house, and they repaired and restored the house of the Lord to its proper condition. Then Jehoiada grew old and full of days, and died. He was one hundred and thirty years old at his death. And they buried him in the city of David, among the kings, because he had done good in Israel towards God and his house. When Jehoiada, who advised Joash in the ways of the Lord, died, Joash's faith wavered. The princes of Judah added fuel to the fire. The king listened to them and abandoned the house of the Lord, the God of their fathers, and served the Asherim and idols. Because of this, the anger of the Lord fell upon Judah and Jerusalem. Yet God sent prophets among them to bring them back to himself but they would not pay attention. Then the Spirit of God clothed Zechariah, the son of Jehoiada the priest. He told them God's message. But the princes of Judah conspired against him, and by the command of the king they stoned him in the court of the Lord. Thus Joash the king did not remember the kindness that Jehoiada, Zechariah's father, had shown him, but killed his son. At the end of the year, the army of the Syrians came up against Joash. They killed all the princes of the people and plundered the land. 
Thus, the army of the Syrians, which had a few men, defeated Judah, which had a great army, and executed God's judgment on Joash. And Joash was severely wounded in the battle. His servants conspired against him and killed him on his bed. Thus the Lord brought on his head the blood of the son of Jehoiada. Thus Joash, who came to the throne of Judah at the age of seven and reigned over Judah for forty years, was killed by his own servants, and they buried him in the city of David, but not in the tombs of kings. And Amaziah his son reigned in his place. In the next story, we will see how the children of Jehu and Joash reigned. God bless you.